Hey guys, it's Brandon Miniman from Pocketnow.com. Google has finally released an app for Google Docs. In this video, we're going to tell you if it's any good or not. Let's get to it. Okay, so let's take a look at Google Docs as it exists in the browser. I've already got it loaded up here. This is what it looks like. You can see your presentations, your documents, or your spreadsheets listed in a nice view. Um, you can also edit documents, which is great. So there's an edit button. Here's a little document that I made. I can click edit. It works very, very well in the mobile browser. And so if we go back, we can take a look at a spreadsheet. Uh, let's look at this one right here. If we look at a spreadsheet, it's not only view, but you can also edit. So there's an edit button on the end of every column. You click edit. You can go across and change the fields however you want. And it, it, works, it works pretty well. And let's go back. But the functionality is generally limited, and it still exists in the browser. One of the great things about Google Docs, of course, is that it's available in the browser to begin with, that you can get your documents wherever you are as long as you have your Google account and an internet connection. So they're really extending the functionality to an app to allow you to do a little bit more than you would get in just the browser alone. So here we've got the little uh, widget here. Uh, we can tap the button on the right to add a new document spreadsheet or photo. We're going to talk about that in a sec. Here we can take a picture of a new document. And again, we're going to talk about that part in a sec because that's one of the more interesting bits about the application. We can enter our starred items, those that are noteworthy, or we can just jump right into Google Docs. Here's the application. This is what it looks like and this is where we're going to we're just going to go right into all items and you're going to see basically the same view that you saw in the browser now we can do certain things on the right side we can share a certain document rename it or start or we can open up documents certainly uh, and here's pretty much the same view as we had before when we were looking at this in the web browser. Here's a test document. We can click Edit. The same Edit view comes up. In fact, it even looks like a browser. It has a status bar loading at the top. So we'll go back, and let's check out a, uh, a spreadsheet, see what that's like. And no surprise, it's going to look exactly like it does in the browser. In fact, this is probably a browser inside of an app. So we can click the Edit button. We can move around on the screen, pinch to zoom to get a, a zoomed out view of the app which is quite nice. Now, one of the more interesting bits about this application is that it can use OCR, which is optical character recognition, to convert uh, text on a page to a document. I've already done one. It doesn't work so well. It's, it misses formatting completely. And oftentimes, the, the words aren't right. Uh, but for example, here is a little, here's a picture I took of uh, the top portion of a little report. And down here, it's got some of the attempt to convert into text. And it takes about five minutes to do so. So you'll take a picture. You'll open up the, uh, the camera functionality here. And you'll get the camera. And then you will, you know, the, the clearer you can make the picture. And the bigger the font, this is obviously a bad example because it's cutting off halfway through the word, uh, the better it's going to be. So you have to be really careful if you want anything even close to a good match. And then right here, it says you can import it. You can check off this option here, convert file to a Google document, which will allow you to do the OCR, which is probably one of the coolest parts of the program. Other things you can do, you can uh, take a look at all your star documents. You can filter by text, spreadsheets, or presentations. Uh, and you can also go to collections, which is, of course, folders, or Google Docs' version of folders. So overall, you get a little bit more functionality uh, in the mobile app than you do in the web application. But they're both so similar. Uh, there's nothing to lose to try Google Docs. It's a free application. It takes a couple of minutes to set up. And it, it, it works really well. It hooks up into multiple Google accounts. And it will sense the Google accounts that are on your device. So if you've got a Gmail account and a different Android market account, you can switch between the two very easily to access all of your documents right on your Android phone. So not too bad. The browser version is almost as good, but hey, it's free. So give it a try. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and let us know what you think about the Google Docs mobile application that just came out. Thanks for watching. That's it for now.